So, this is my first full day in Germany. Now today is going to be yet another travel day. So, <laughs> there's not a lot on schedule for today. Most of it is just driving to Berlin. So, you know, it's gonna be pretty boring, but we'll get to learn some cool things about the German traffic. I've been out on the road a bit, and the one big difference I've noticed is the streets here are a lot smaller. <laughs> so, it's a little, little weird kind of driving, especially because there's also no middle line in a lot of the streets but you get used to it. It's not too bad. So, without further ado, let's head out. Before I head off to Berlin, I gotta show you the best little butcher shop in Augsburg. This is owned by uh, the person I'm staying with, Manfred and Ricky, and it is amazing. Let me show you around. So we have some really interesting meats here. We have kangaroo back there, elk there, crocodile back there, got some bison up there. I mean, man, Manfred has the selection, including some stuff from all the way back home. <laughs> man, what a selection here. Sorry it's a little noisy, but um, we're here at the train station because we agreed that it probably wouldn't be best for me to drive around Berlin. Now, not yesterday I was absolutely dead. Yesterday, I was absolutely dead tired trying to get on the train. So today, now that I actually know how it works a little bit and I'm not so tired, I'm gonna show you how that works because that's kind of an interesting thing they got going on. So here you can actually see how to get on the train. So we find our train up here, we got the IC 704. And so here it tells you what the cars are. So these green cars are level two next to them are the economy class, but these are the first class. And this is this red one's a uh, dining car. Because it's a really long trip, it's like a four hour train. They have, of course, dining cars and washrooms and things. So that's how you actually navigate. So then we know, if we look up here, this is A, B, C, D, E. And you can see it later down on the train tracks that it'll tell us where these different cars are actually going to stop. So we go over here, we go, I see 704. Okay, so we're gonna want a car somewhere about here. So we want somewhere between C and A. actually again shows the classes and the cars that are on at those stations. So you know when you have a second class ticket which one to get. Now we're in Berlin Central Station. Now one little small detail I forgot to mention about the tickets was that on the ticket it actually tells you your platform number which is a very important number however it is that little number right in there so it's awful hard to find so if you buy a ticket be aware that it is you know a little number off to the side so now I have to catch the local train which these are really cheap by the way like the the, the the express train is really expensive, these are really cheap. Um, but I have to catch that train to my hostel so I can stay there. But it's in a couple minutes, so let me give you a little tour of the station first. than uh, the other train. Now my speaker, for some reason, of course you know, as soon as I go to Germany, my speaker just stops working for no reason whatsoever. It's kind of annoying, but we're gonna have to deal with some of this background audio for the trip unless I can get it working again. So this ticket actually doesn't have as much information on it as the other one does. Um, so for find information on these ones, you have to go up to where the S trains park and you have to look for your information. They have big signs, lots of information on them which I didn't have time to film because my train left right away. So when you go up, you see these big signs, they'll have like all of like the times and different trains that go out. So that's when you know that that's, that's how you know which train to get on You really have to know where you're going and what train leads to where you're going. And they have very complicated maps to help you out. 
it's, it's all very nice. <laughs> now let's get to the hostel. So it turns out I actually forgot to stand my ticket, which was kind of exciting. I kind of got a slap on the wrist for that. But in the meantime, check this out. That was pretty crazy. Now, I'm actually here at the hostel now. So I think we're gonna have to check in there. It was another boring travel day, but it ended off kind of exciting. So we're gonna have to call it there and I'll see you again tomorrow. How does that sound?